Good morning, guys. Don't I look crazy? <laughs> I haven't. Um, I did some little curls and I haven't combed it out yet. I will. Um, but I am about to pick some music and upload yesterday's video. And today, first thing I have is a Creator Alliance meeting. So I'm going to put on some makeup. And I want to try out the new Minted Cosmetics foundation stick. So we're going to do that together. So first, let me get this video up. All right, so I have 30 minutes until I need to be at this meeting. Um, and I want to use the Minted Cosmetics new um, foundation. This is the Skin by Minted. I bought a sample pack. So it has all the shades in here so that I can try it and um, go from there. So I'm gonna start with primer. I actually only have 30 minutes. And look guys, I actually scratched my face, like like scratched it. Go, go me. <laughs> Just, yeah. And I have my simple human mirror here, which I love. It lights up, it's, it's all things wonderful. I'm gonna start with my Tatcha Silk Canvas, and this is just my primer to make sure it stays. I am gonna be shooting some photos later, um, taking a, as well as shooting, and so I kinda want this to last. Hopefully, it's got some staying power, but we'll be testing it out today, and if it doesn't, I'll just have to uh, like finagle it, because the this uh, meeting time to take the photos is, is much farther than now, like much later. Um, that's the word I was looking for, later. Um, so, we'll see. Um, as far as my hair goes, it's straight. It's not a silk press and it's not bone straight, which is okay. Um, I didn't wanna cause any heat damage. That was the most important thing to me and my hair like is resisting straightening and that's a good thing. It means it's healthy. Um, so let's start with trying to choose one of these colors. Let me see my foundations. I have some Bobbi Brown. It's a little too light right now, but I can use it to color match. Um, this is Cool Almond. I think I need Golden Almond right now, if that's the next one. I can't remember. Um, I think it is right now. So I've been using my um, NARS Tinted Moisturizer when I do want to foundation but I want like a photo beat so I already think that I am in the medium category for sure so this is um a dot of a bobby brown like I said it's a little too light right now did I really just no okay good I mm, this packaging is always tricky because what I don't want to do is get the foundation everywhere um ah it opened easily guys so i could just take the tabs out <gasps> and they're labeled i love good packaging so what i'm doing is opening it right here and they're in little like pill tablet things and then they are labeled on the back with the color so I ain't gotta figure it out later. Yes. That's a win. Good job, minted. All right, so let me see. These seem a little too dark and red. So these are out. This is D 10, 20, 30, 40. And those are deep. I don't think I'm deep anyway. Um, so I'm on the medium spectrum here. I think M20 looks good. And it's perforated and everything. Good job, Minted. Good freaking job. M20 or M30? Hmm, we'll find out. Good job. It's even, like, this is such an, a packaging win. Like, it's even, oh, such a packaging win. I am proud of y'all. By the way, Minted Cosmetics is a black owned brand. I This is my first purchase from Minted. I have wanted um, lipstick from them forever. Um, this might be a little dark. We're gonna find out. M10. 
might be good or I'm thinking one of the tan shades but we'll see this is a stick foundation so it's like nice and in there just gonna get it on my finger on my nail so that is the minted foundation definitely too dark as compared to this one so but that one um, is too light so let's see if it'll work or if it's too dark I think actually that will work yeah I'm pretty sure that will work all right so let's see if I can get it out of here it is a stick like I said so it's it's pretty firm I'm using my nail to kind of dig it out I don't have to do it that way I just am my nails gonna be nice and dirty when this is all said and done this is definitely like a, a stick foundation though I could tell it's like they broke off the top of the stick and put it in here but let me tell you how grateful I am for swatches um, not swatches for samples because you can only get it online and I just hate to buy a whole bottle that's the wrong shade I really really do now they have shade matching listed but this just makes it so much simpler so much simpler um which brush I'm gonna use this real techniques techniques brush it is not clean the lighting will continue to change sorry because of my mirror yeah that's a good match look at that can't even really see it that's a good match matches my neck and that's what I go for the middle of my face is obviously bright brighter than the outside there we go the lights gone but look at that can't even tell that's a good match my skin has um is still recovering from Punta Cana it freaked out when I came back like it was so mad I got a full-on breakout um and it's going away but it took like a whole month I didn't do anything drastic so that's good I just kind of let it do what it do I am so tempted to put on another layer I don't know if that's a good idea but I'm very tempted it is not matte can you tell it's not dewy per se but it's not matte I like that it doesn't leave me looking I don't want to look too matte in everyday life right I can put on some powder and get rid of any shine that I don't want coverage is I think a nice medium coverage I wouldn't say that it's giving me full on coverage which it's called skin so I'm guessing that's intentional the color I think is good I am mad at it so I'm gonna wear this I might put on some actual concealer we'll see um, I'm gonna wear this I'm gonna wear it all day and at the end of the day when we're done with the day we can evaluate but as you can see in my t-zone maybe you can I think you can in my t-zone where I have oilier skin I can see it like it's it's a, it's slightly shiny um but I haven't put on powder yet so I'm gonna do that first I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face so all I did was take the bantu knots down and this is what my hair looks like and on my lips I'm wearing the minted cosmetics lipstick in peach please it's so pretty it is the absolute perfect peachy nude and I have NYX espresso outlining my lips um, and yeah I love it I think it's so 
cute. It's the perfect peachy nude for spring and summer. And just in general, it's very, very flattering. I don't have to do a lot um, to make it work. I'm interested in buying more of the lipsticks when I uh, decide whether I'm gonna repurchase the foundation. But this is what it looks like right now. Um, with my full face, I did powder with um, Laura Mercier translucent powder in deep. Or is it medium deep? I think it's deep. It's medium deep, yeah. All right, let me go. I just got back from the Creator Alliance meeting. It's our first meeting. And what the Creator Alliance is, is um, it wasn't started by me, but um, it's a group of creators, uh, YouTube content creators, whatever content creators, and we're getting together to support each other. So um, we're gonna do some workshops with like brand specialists and things like that. Uh, talk about you know what we achieve etc we're only meeting quarterly so I asked the ladies to introduce themselves hi my name is Sasha my YouTube channel name is beauty by Sasha go ahead and go join me to check out some new beauty videos and natural hair and makeup hi I'm Miss Devonnie Purple on YouTube my name is Yolanda but I'm Miss Devonnie Purple in the YouTube streets Instagram Pinterest Twitter I do motivational empowerment videos for women also a little bit of everything makeup whatever go and join me I would love to have you over in the purple nation oh, hi everyone my name is Ronia and my channel is actually shared with my husband and we're called inspired by r and &R. if you're interested in travel or unboxing videos or just videos that show you how to save money go ahead and check us out on inspired by r and Hi, my name is Mini, and my channel's name is Naturally Mini. I am focusing on sharing my second natural hair journey. Please check me out at Naturally Mini on all social media platforms. My Instagram is Takara.Thompson. We've collabed together, me and Akia, so you've seen me before, but I make natural hair videos, so come on over if you haven't, and bye. And then afterwards, I went to the beauty supply store, because I'm trying to find the Cantu gels, any of them, and I went to Target to get a steamer. Um, I never iron my clothes, ever. It's a problem. I do not, not mind going around wrinkles. It's a problem. <laughs> But I am going to start recording this course. And so I need to put my backdrop and stuff up. I have it and everything. I just need a steamer to steam out the wrinkles. And so I bought one. And it'll just be good for clothes too. Maybe I'll be less wrinkled in life. Maybe I won't. Um, and then I also have a photo shoot in about... And I got to leave in an hour. So I'm going to move stuff around my apartment. I want to move that chair. Um, and some other things to make room for the backdrop and stuff to just be up until I'm done filming for the course so I gotta get started on that but my makeup doesn't look bad like the minted is holding up just fine and I do adore this color match so so far so good So guys, I had the idea for this course long before this year and I have talked myself out of actually executing and publishing this course for a couple years now. Um, when I was going to do it, I purchased backdrops, I purchased um, the stands to hold them, I purchased box lights and I just, I practiced with them. I have a couple videos from last year, but I talked myself out of it. And this year, I said I'm not talking myself out of it. No matter what, I'm going to put this up. I'm going to market it. And if it helps two people, 
it's a success. So yeah, I knew that the steamer would not like get all those wrinkles out the first time. There are so many wrinkles in this backdrop. It's insane. Um, so I wanted to put it up and uh, steam it and leave it for a bit. Um, so I made room for it in my little room here too. Um, but I'm going to film the videos for the course, demos, etc. Uh, with this backdrop. Um, and I also have a white one. So I might switch it up at some point while filming or I'll just leave it with this gray backdrop. Um, but now I gotta get ready for this photo shoot and um, I'll see you guys there. As far as Minted Cosmetics goes, like I, it, during the photo shoot and now, I think this has held up quite nicely. This is The foundation has been on my face for about 10 hours and though you can't see the color, I did powder my T-zone, but it's not overly shiny and my skin still looks even. I think it did a really, really good job. I'm excited to use it again and if I like it um, still, I want to try another color, the one that was slightly lighter. I'm going to try that one and I'll pick between the two and I definitely think this could be like my stick foundation of choice. Um, Juvia's Place is coming out with a foundation too. They haven't put the date up. Um, hand concealer and those will be liquid and I prefer liquid foundation most days. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. I'm definitely going to try that out too. So yeah, I think I really, really like how this turned out. I mean, I guess this is bad lighting to show you guys, but... It still looks great. I only powdered my T-zone. You know, some oil broke through here, but that's kind of natural for me. After the photo shoot, I went to see the new Taraji P. Henson movie. I think it's called Best Enemies. Um, it's historical, civil rights era. Well, a little past it. Um, not past it, in the midst of it. What am I talking about? Uh, North Carolina, Durham, North Carolina, integration of their schools and um, the fight over that if you haven't seen those previews and I was pleasantly surprised because I was going to see it for Taraji but I was fully expecting just white savior that's what I was expecting because it just happens every time and I have to say although the main character white man did end up being a hero he wasn't the great white savior um, which is probably more accurate right more accurate to history and so I fully 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 appreciate that I think it did a great job of not focusing on either character's story too much main character I think they focused on the main character's stories pretty evenly um, we didn't get a whole bunch of background of either main character instead the story was definitely centered around the event and we got just enough to make things even to make you feel compassion uh, and it wasn't a white savior movie and I am so happy about that it did make me want to learn more about Durham North Carolina and you know what happened for real uh, and I love the way the movie opened and the way the movie closed uh, with actual words from the people the actual people you know um, who were living at that time they have video and voice uh, and audio of those particular people and I thoroughly enjoyed it I'm quite happy I saw it I do not feel that my coins were wasted so next weekend I think little movie comes out the one with uh, Marseille Martin yeah and Issa Rae so I'm looking forward to seeing that and you guys know I'm looking forward to seeing in game this month um, and book wise, I'm looking forward to the new Alyssa Cole, uh, book in the Reluctant Royal series. I think that comes out at the end of the month. I'm very look much looking forward to that. So those are kind of like my media things, um, that's happening this month, but more will be to come. Um, right now you guys can see, I put my hair in these two high Bantu knots. I think it'll be easy to sleep with those. 
um, and I won't destroy my hair because tomorrow I'm traveling. Um, by the time you see this, I will be on the road. So I hope you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for the positive feedback on today's video. I, you know, I just shared. I never really know what's going to happen. So <laughs> thank you so much. I, I'm just thrilled by you guys' comments. Um, so be sure in the comments box below, let me know what you're getting into this weekend. Uh, share, share, share. We're sharing. So share it with me. And I'm glad you love Pupsy. She is boarding because I'm going out of town. Um, and she loves, she the place she goes to daycare, she also boards. So she loves it. They love her. They give her things. Like, I'm supposed to pay for things like treats and pumpkin in her food and all this stuff. But they give her all kinds of treats um, <laughs> while she's there because they love her. And um, so she's thoroughly spoiled all the time. But that's how it's supposed to be, right? So until the next video, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and the blog. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.